Hello students, this is Dr. Amar Preet Kaur, a lecturer from Jammu and Kashmir Education Department. In today's lecture, I will discuss chromosomal basis of inheritance. Initially, it was explained very well by Walter S. Sutton and T. Bowery. Okay, they have proposed a theory, chromosomal theory of heredity in year 1902. Okay. This theory, that is chromosomal theory of heredity, it explains how the chromosome they passes, you can say the genes or factors, okay, from parents to offsprings. According to this theory, firstly, chromosomes, they contain genes and Mendelian has given the factor name to genes so you can use factor also okay that are transmitted from parents to offsprings again i will repeat that chromosomes they contain the factors that is responsible for a character okay and they are transmitted from parents to offsprings second point chromosomes they are replicated Students, what is replication? In my upcoming lectures, I will give a detailed lecture about replication. But here, simply understand it is division of uh, DNA uh, or you can say chromosomes in two equal halves. Clear? Okay, chromosomes, they are replicated and then they are passed from generation after generation. Okay? clear chromosomes they get divided and they pass from parents to offsprings the third point the nuclei of eukaryotic cells okay eukaryotic cells means i have already explained there are two types of cells one prokaryotic and another eukaryotic okay they contain homologous pair of chromosomes now, what is homologous chromosomes or a homologous pair of chromosomes? These are those chromosomes which are having the same length and the position of centromere is uh, same, okay, in both the pairs. And thirdly, the staining pattern, when we stain the chromosomes, okay, they get equally stained. Okay, these are the features for homologous chromosomes. So, eukaryotic cells, they contain chromosomes that are homologous pair. Okay, one pair from each parent is inherited. Understood the homologous pair of chromosomes, one is inherited from mother and another pair it is inherited from father and at the time of meiosis or you can say students at the time of gametogenesis when gametes are formed okay these two pairs they get segregated and each pair gets into a daughter cell or in a gamete therefore the gametes they contain one set of chromosome and why gametes contain one set of chromosome because of meiosis division meiosis is a reductional division okay and what does that mean that mean if a organism of a, or a, you can say a cell is diploid it is having two sets of chromosome it is 2n the gametes it will be 1n okay clear during gamete formation different type of chromosomes they segregate independently of each other and each parent contributes one set of chromosomes to it is offspring clear these are the points of chromosomal theory okay which was given by Sutton and Bovary and this theory 
it actually explains the relationship between Mendel's law and chromosomal transmission. Just remember the um, Mendel's either monohybrid cross or dihybrid cross. He has explained everything very well that there are the factors which are responsible for a character and um, um before selfing there you know they get segregated the factors and um and in f1 generation again again you know they just get combined so this is uh this is the theory which explains a relationship with mandel's law okay with this i have completed chromosomal theory of heredity Thank you for listening to my lecture. In case you have any comment or any question, you can visit my website that is www.amarpreetko.com and you can find there so many lectures. You can listen to them and also download them. Thank you.